Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a tutorial to share with you today. We're working through this book called The Beginner's Guide to Constructing the Universe and it goes through the quality of numbers from 1 to 10. We're on the number 4 right now and we're learning about the regular solids. And What I like about this book is that it has a step-by-step -step instruction on how to create the regular solids starting with a circle. So I've got some thick paper here to use and you do need a compass and a ruler for this. I'm going to measure out my radius at about 2 inches but you can choose a larger or smaller radius depending on the size of your paper and how big you want your regular solid to be. I'm going to start at the left corner of the page and draw a circle. Next, I'm going to place my compass on the circumference of that circle and draw another circle and you want to ensure that it's going through the center of your original circle. If your center for your circle is not easily seen, you can mark it after you do your circle or you can mark it on the circumference as you do your second circle. Next, we're going to connect the arc at the top of the circle through the center of your first circle and you're going to extend that line all the way until it crosses your circle at the bottom. We're going to go back to that original point at the top, go through the second center of our second circle and then go all the way to the bottom. Now we want to connect those two points at the bottom of both of those circles. You can see that you formed one triangle out of those two circles. Where your two centers were, we're going to connect. And now we see a small triangle at the top. And at that point, all the way down to the bottom where the two circles form an arc, we're going to connect there and once again on the other side. And now we have four triangles all connected. So at this point, I'm going to add little tab marks on some of the triangles so that we can construct our regular solid and use some double stick tape to connect our solid. And I'm also going to erase some of those extra arcs. Next, I'm going to use my bone folder in order to crease lines so that we can easily fold our structure. And you can see that it bends the paper a little bit on the underside. So we're going to continue using our bone folder in order to crease lines on, on the interior of our structure as well as wherever those tabs are. We want to make sure that those tabs are folded over easily. Then we're going to cut our shape out and you want to cut around your tabs because we're going to need those so don't cut those off. And then once you have completely cut around your entire shape, then you can fold all of your pieces and make sure that everything folds well. And you also want to construct your shape just to make sure that you know how to construct it before you add your double stick tape. I'm using some fabric double stick tape. It's very thin and very tacky, so it's going to adhere really well and very easily. I'm going to trim off pieces and then remove the tape and start to assemble my shape. This is very sticky tape so we're going to carefully insert the last two tabs into the opening and then carefully secure each of those sides so that the tape is well adhered on all the pieces. And that's it! We've just constructed our tetrahedron. I hope that you enjoyed this look at our geometry lesson. I love how this lesson teaches us from start to finish how to construct these three-dimensional models. Of course, you could always print off a template if you wanted to. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video. It has more information as well as other geometry tutorials. You can find that link down in the description box below. And if you'd like to see what we're doing for geometry on a regular basis, you can find me on Instagram and now on TikTok at Pepper and Pine.